So uh, I will, I, I do promise that I will not do the typical speech in Bangladesh when we say, I do not want to lengthen my speech between Pandora for another 45 minutes. No, that's not going to happen. So what I want to talk about today is being a champion of mediocrity or being a champion among champions. Now, what, what I exactly mean by that is going to be evident, but I think just by stating the terms, it's pretty clear. Do we want to be champions among mediocrity, or do we want to be champions among the champions? So in Bangla, we say, who are men? Is what we want to be or not? Neither is wrong, but it's a question of what we want to do in our lives and how do we program ourselves in life. So having said that, perhaps it might be a little bit appropriate if I talk about my own life other than somebody else's life, because it's really my own story. So let's start with my SSC examinations, which is secondary school certificate exams. But uh, for those who are on the video, fortunately, if somebody in Madagascar is going to watch this video, what it means is that after grade 10, we go through this examination process all over the country. Now, in my time, and perhaps a few of you are old enough to remember this, maybe it is how you are, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pick on you like that, but most of you were not even born, and I'm pretty sure when I say what the system was when we had the SSA exam, you will have the same look like a deer uh, with the headlights, right? That's the term. Uh, and anyway, I should be, make it more relevant. But basically, the reaction you had when our first speaker today was the professor of Ruit, who showed a picture of a rotary dial phone, and everybody was saying, what on earth is that? So really, when we went to this SSC examination, we didn't have the GPA system. It was basically pure numbers, okay? And you were ranked according to the numbers. And the first 20, some reason, were highlighted as people who stood in the exams, okay? So now, some reason, I stood 13 in the Dhaka board SSC exam. I was hoping you would clap. That's my little claim to fame. And that's how I felt when I took the SSC exam. I stood 13. I said, man, I am the man. Okay. In Bangladesh, you achieve a little bit. You say, I am the man. Ah. You know, just like Shalapa was saying, you pick on people just because that person is not up to snuff uh, like yourself. So that's how I felt. I'm not saying I was speaking on anybody. I was being, nor was I being condescending on anybody in school at the time. But at the same time, I felt that maybe I had done something. Some people said, you're a genius. But then I realized, no, I'm not really a genius because the system we go through in our examination system, in Bangladesh education system, you can actually beat the system. It's not that you have to be really smart, and by smart, I mean the actual definition of smart. In Bangladesh, we say smart means dressed well. I'm sure I'm not looking smart. But smart definitions, you know, the smart, what you have between the ears, not just the microphone, but really the soft matter between your ears. So people say, no, but you're a genius. I said, no, I'm not a genius. Because you can beat the system. First of all, we had an insane amount of time to prepare for the exams. We had nothing to do. We had helicopter parents, you know? <laughs> so that's the parents we have. We have insane amount of time. Three months, four months, six months to do nothing but study the same thing over and over again. And you can just memorize and you can regurgitate and you can ace it and you can say, I stood 30. Yes. <laughs> we had essence. I was not a genius. In essence, I was not smart. I simply knew how to work the system. Moving on to HSC, Higher Secondary Certificate Examination. Again, for our viewers in Madagascar, that is the high school graduation examination we do uh, once we finish our high school. And again, high school is like grade 12. And I stand fifth. Whoa! in the Dhaka board. And we have an analog phone, rotary dial phone. And the girls start calling me. <laughs> Finally, studying helped. Everybody said, no, you're a genius. Again, no, I'm not a genius. I just knew how to work the system. I did not have a helicopter parent because my parents are kind of very weird because if we have exams tomorrow, 
They will say, go watch TV. That's how they work. And we had only one TV channel, no YouTube, nothing, Bangladesh television. <laughs> Three English programs. Why did my parents say go watch TV? They said, that is where you learn English. Not with 800 tackles, money back guarantee. <laughs> I'm not tripping on anybody. But that's because we studied in the Bangla medium. Okay? We studied in the Bangla medium, and you never learn a language in a book. Because in our system, for 16 years, we are learning English. We're learning about a language, we just don't learn the language. And that's why my parents said, you have to watch TV. Tomorrow there's an exam, so what? We had only three English programs, Casper the Friendly Ghost, and English News, and MacGyver or Hawaii Five. You have no clue what I'm talking about, but only the people over here who are about 50, you add their age, it's 1,500. Only this audience will get the reference, but that was really our source to learn a language. So that's where my parents were working, that you got to be champion about champions, not a champion about me. Because you can beat the system. AJC, I stood fit. You want to say I'm a genius? genius? No, I'm not a genius. I just knew how to work the system. We had six months to prepare the exam. For heaven's sake, in eight months, you can have a baby. <laughs> Which all in, and that is an amazing feat, by the way, to all the mothers, okay? Again, there was you were not beating the system. So then again, the system was telling my, me, you have to live by the Dell philosophy, D-E-L-L. You have to be a doctor, engineer, lawyer, or you're a loser. So guess what? I applied to Good, Bangladesh University, taken from the mother that's her audience, Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology. Admission test, I ranked second. <laughs> Again, you can, well, I wouldn't say you quite beat the system because here they actually test your knowledge, your concept of the scientists so that you're about able to apply. So this is really the first time in all of my 12 years of education in Bangladesh, I realized that here is first, here's the first time I'm actually applying what I learned. So far, I was not applying what I was learning. You can actually memorize on what we say, suggestions. That means you are actually doing all these analog predictions, basically, what may come in your exams. So if you're lucky, common, you ace it, uncommon, you're done. <laughs> We think that's how, life, that's how life is. That's not how life is. At a job, do you expect anything to be covered? In your job, at your career, do you have suggestions? Even this little kid is saying no. <laughs> In fact, she was telling Baba, see, you gotta hear that guy. He's the right, saying the right thing. And that's what it is. So I'm influenced and everything. And of course, again, Another thing is that in this, in our country, we get very arrogant. We get arrogant. We have all these hierarchies. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> oh, I'm good, you do it, do it. And like, like I was saying right now, you, this is really our school. Yeah, like in the, America, in the US, you hear about teasing in the, uh, bullying in the uh, play, playground. This is our bullying. I'm going to ruin you, mean nothing. This is our bully. You, I am making, I am going, I'm making ruin feel low about themselves. I'm an engineer, you're a diploma engineer. Ooh. <laughs> you work under me. <laughs> you are my subordinates. Anybody says that I'm not subordinate? <laughs> It's like I'm like, you know, pushing you up. We're very hierarchical, we're very arrogant. We think we are king, but at the end of the day, we are champions of mediocrity. And we are complacent about that. Boy, ah, I'm the king of Palasi. So I go to the US as a graduate student, first day in class, I'm scared. University of Michigan. I sit there in my classroom. On my right is an American young, young man. On my left is the Indian young man, introducing myself. Hi. Hi. I'm Eric Alvarado from MIT, not Mohammedan Institute of Technology. 
And then this is it, you know, the Indian guy, hi, I'm Malan Dinesh, Sham Sham. I am from IIT Kanpur. I said, man. And I thought I was the man in Bangladesh. I was a king, you know? We're good, 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 all that stuff. So I said, oh, hi. And I thought I was like, keep up with the Jones. Hi, I'm Naveen from BUET. <laughs> So what is B-U-E-T? Oh, yeah. Already, I'm hitting the knees. All that arrogance? God, he doesn't even know, has never heard of you. I said, Bangladesh University of Engineering Technology. <laughs> I already know who I was doing. Okay, I understand university, I understand engineering, I understand technology, but what the hell is Bangladesh? <laughs> and that's when I realized we are truly champions of Vidya. We think we are God, whereas we are not. This gentleman didn't even know that a country like Bangladesh existed. He knows India, he knows IIT. Who else? Forget it. He doesn't even know where Bangladesh is. Oh, where is Bangladesh? I said, well, Mr. Uh, the South Asian. Is that part of India? I said, no. How do you tell the difference? We don't do this. <laughs> so that's what I felt. You know, this is what happens in this country, other teammates, is that we are complacent. We are champions of mediocrity. I'm not saying everybody's mediocre, but we program ourselves to remain mediocre. So that when I'm a champion, I think I'm God. You get a little bit of fame, you think you're God. You're untouchable. Doesn't answer the phone. Doesn't answer the message. Ah. Ah. I'm a CEO. Ah. You know, I never say he's my colleague. I say he's my subordinate. I never say he works with me. I say he works under me. And whenever I say he works under me, I just, you know, I think under me. I'm like, oh, yeah. Whenever somebody says 25 people were under me, here's what I look at. I visualize a big hen, chicken, wearing a suit, and 25 eggs under the chicken. And all those eggs are labeled into your management training. And when those 25 eggs, aka the management trainees, look up, the scenery is not pretty at all. <laughs> Eventually, I was the chief executive officer of Nokia Siemens Networks in Bangladesh. Okay, you can clap if you want to. And then I was the CEO of IBM in Bangladesh. Woo. And as Rajatwai was saying, you know, he was one of the highest paid um, executives in Bangladesh. Maybe I didn't make as much money as you did, but I was still happy because I was in college at that time. But at the same time, I also said, sure, as you also said, that when you were a high ranking, well paid CXO, probably a CEO, and everybody in society respected you, you were important. But then I realized, sure, it was the same in my case. But I am the CEO of IBM in Bangladesh. I'm not CEO of IBM globally. I'm only managing a $10 million portfolio, not a $100 billion portfolio. I'm not saying that any by any means accomplishment was insignificant. What I'm saying is that, again, am I being a champion of the job? And that's why let's ask this question. Globally, can we name one person or one phenomenon of Bangladesh that everybody knows? This is Bangladesh. Can anybody tell me just one thing? One person, one phenomena, one history, historical fact, one thing. Everybody, 8 billion people will say, oh, yeah, that's Bangladesh. Can anybody say anything? Dr. Inus. Dr. Inus is not. Okay, fine. You, if you walk down downtown Manhattan, you randomly ask somebody Dr. Inus, does that person know? Yes or no? Yeah. Probably not. Memphis, some hillbilly, <laughs> will he know? Probably not. Do we see a Bangladeshi CEO and Silicon Valley? So let me chat. All these people, right? So what I'm saying again is that sure, we're doing well. Now we make the choice. Do we stay complacent 
or do we move on? And as I just might say, let's not dwell on the past. Let's not ruin my present for the future. But can I be complacent? I mean, can I be happy, fulfilling, as you said? But at the same time, can I not be complacent and move up in this game? Case in point, I'm here today because you said I'm a comedian. They introduced me as a comedian. A lot of people know me as a comedian. What about outside the borders? I was in Iceland, they kept me doing a show. I was doing a talk show with anybody. You have a nobody once outside the border. But I'm working towards you. We go to the Middle East, we are cleaning bathrooms. But their supervisors are from India or somewhere else. Nothing different. But somebody made a choice, I will be a champion among the champion. And somebody made a choice, I'll be lazy and be a champion among the other. And that's what happens. When we look for a job, says, ah, now we find, can't find a job. Not true. Jobs are there, they can't find it. If we choose to remain in our insular little world, we have the time, we're stuck in traffic, I can learn a language looking at my smartphone. I can just hear or watch an English documentary, that's how I pick up a language. I'm from the Bangla medium, I don't think my English is that bad. How I find it? My helicopter, non-helicopter parents said, watch TV. So you can, you're, you're complaining about the traffic, well use the traffic while you're standing in the bus, plug your headphones, listen to some English documentary. You want to go to the Middle East? Watch a Arabic drama with subtitles. You're learning Arabic. So now when you go to the Middle East, you're not making 30,000 takas after paying 4 lakh takas, you're going to make 100,000 takas after paying 100,000 takas. It is a choice we make. <clears throat> Instead of being literally intellectual bullies, you do it, I do it, I do it. It really matters nothing. Because outside the borders, a lot of people don't even know this country. Do we make a choice? Do we remain as champions of mediocrity? Or do we work towards being champions of champions? The two is in our hands. My pre previous speaker even talked about where three point. These are all here, my friends. It's just for us. Thank you.